In this OpenShot tutorial I will show you how to create very simple split screen video clips. I've assumed you've got a basic understanding of editing in OpenShot and also have set up your um, video profile for when you do the final render. OK. I'm just going to import four clips that I've done earlier. Um, the reason I did these clips earlier because I've already done some split screen tutorials in Caden Live and Blender. Um, so, anyway. Although you don't have to, it also helps if you make each clip the same length. Okay. So I'm just going to drag the first clip into the timeline here. Um, make sure your magnet is selected so that these actually snap in and also you're at the beginning of your playback and here we have a clip of Castle Coombe and the easiest way although you can resize these um, clips down the properties side um, I'll show you how to do that in a minute but um, a basic four clip video clip if you like the easiest way to make that is actually right click sorry right click on your first clip and then look for layout and then you've got a few options you've got quarter size center um, quarter size top left so I'm going to just left click on that and as you can see we've gone into the top left hand corner. It's easier if you do each clip at a time. Um, if you, 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 Sometimes you can't see what you're doing so I've done this clip here so I'm going to just drag this one in now and again I'll put it in there and now I can see this clip and I want to, I don't know, we'll take it to the top right so right click Next to layout, and we'll go top right. There you go. Let's drag this one in. Right click again. And next to layout, let's go bottom left. And finally, we'll drag this one into track number one. And right click again next to the layout and we'll go bottom right and that's it that's all you need to do in this instance like I said you can you know cut all your clips if you've got different length ones here I might eventually get around to doing a bit more of an advanced editor in open or advanced editing in open shot right now I've done enough of it really I've done loads on blender and Caden life but I thought I'd do this one Okay, uh, right, I was ready to go. I'll show you how to change some of these um, in a minute after we've rendered this. So, top of the screen, red button, left click on it, and unless you want all the audio playing, make sure you left click on the advanced tab and it says, where it says export to video and audio, left click and then left click video only. Um, Let's give this a title, so I don't know, I'm going to call this SS1 and decide where I'm going to save it. We'll put it on the desktop and left click export video. And I'll come back to this when it's finished rendering. I'll just show you a few tricks on how to uh, change some of the sizes of these uh, clips. OK, well that's finished rendering now, so hopefully we should have something that plays reasonably well as a split screen clip. OK. If you want to change your images manually, um, I don't know, let's have a look at doing something a bit different. So you know, let's remove this, uh, I'm going to remove this ball a minute. So I'm gonna left click on it and then 
right click then left click remove clip so hit come back okay so grab this up here so this is the train now with the train selected you can hold down control R if I do that it kills my screencast for some reason so I'm going to right click and then I'm going to left click on transform okay now as you can see you've got some little buttons you can drag these out if you want I wouldn't advise it it's not really an easy way to do this what I would do is come down to the properties panel down here now I am actually using the uh, if you go into view top here you've got views I'm actually using advanced view rather than simple view that way you can see these properties here so anyway so we've got this clip here selected and if you bring your slider down you'll see something that says scale x scale y and it'll say 0.5 so if you just left click on these and type in one on the x and one on the y axis this will bring your video back to normal size now in the middle there's a, there's a, a dot blue dot place your pointer over it hold down the left mouse button and just drag your clip down until you're happy with its position so that's going to be I don't know something like that not always easy that'll do let's have a look you can also check your position here location Y X zero yeah that's fine so it's in the middle and he's dropped down a bit and that's it really you could do that with any of these clips bring them to the middle you, I could if I wanted to say I have this one here and bring it down to here if I wanted to or I could make this one bigger oh, I don't know you so many options the only thing you can't do is make a regular sized um, video clips you know like triangular ones and that with this there may be a way and if I find way I'll uh, post on here okay and again back to the top render advanced video only give it a title should we what call it the oh, just call it SS for a split screen browse desktop choose and again left click on export video and as I did before I'll come back and play this video clip and bid you farewell anyway, I'll come back to this in a minute when it's finished rendering ok well that's finished rendering now so hopefully we've got something we can play this one here yeah and it's worked well hopefully this helps somebody um, thank you for watching cheers <laughs>